Every good morning, boss. Ooh. Every good morning starts with a cup of coffee. <laughs> the supply house run. So we're fixing to hit it hard in the homey day. You gotta pick up some electrical material and then we're going to the project. Need us a little bit of pipe, a couple of fittings, and some, some spend some money and covet some tools. Our journey, our journey for supplies has taken us to a supply house. We've left Home Depot. And this is a good one. We got all the different boxes. So you can be like, what's that? Look at that, that's a cool one. We got discos. Yeah. All the Klein stuff. Ooh, that is. Look at this thing. This is what was really cool. So if any of you guys were wondering what size and capacity what wire is, it is for branch circuits. All the way down. Um, How freaking cool. Hey Johnny, what else do you need on your list, list buddy? Hold on, dude. I'm looking at this awesome <laughs> thing. Multi-use cables, three-way switches, underground feeder. You don't have a So over. Look at that, all that stuff. I love the supply house. You pay top dollar, but sometimes they're really cool. Yeah, this is just a really cool supply house. Uh, I'm gonna say they got all their fittings yeah. proudly displayed. Their boxes. That's good. If someone comes in, I'm all metal device wrong. plates. <laughs> yeah, you that's what I was saying. Plastic yeah. junction boxes, flexible <laughs> conduit, outdoor metal products, terminal studs, lugs. Ooh. Crimped lugs. Look at that. Those are cool. Yes. Burndy lugs. Those are cool. Those are like insulated terminals or Polaris lugs. But those aren't Polaris lugs. Those are Ilsco products or Burndy products. Ooh, all the different strut fittings. I never use our mold. Can't do much better than that. They even got a good assortment of snacks. Kitchen snacks. And this is the bad of the bone truck we ride around in. This is the big boss. <sighs> Folks, we're here now at the job working. It's morning time and before you can get your solar panels up, there's a lot of things that have to happen. I'm gonna take you through and show you just a small little different but very important tasks that have to happen. Push to get the electrical in place. First things first on the pre-panel push, you gotta get your conduit run up. So we're doing EMT up into the attic. Got the big boss here. He's got a big mess going because he's a big boss. And he's got his gutter looking good. Got the conduit in there. About to put up some IMO disconnects. I'll show you how we made the roof penetration up there in just a second. So the big boss is about to cut a hole in the bottom of uh, the gutter. You may see a lot of this where we're cutting holes in metal. And while this is about a $700 knockout tool, you don't really need one. There's a really affordable one at Harbor Freight. So here he is in the bottom. Right on the cutter. Two inch. I'm going for one and a quarter, huh? Oh, is this part of the blooper? Yeah, film that. Big Boss is about to be cutting some holes. He's got the, the uh, two inch cutter on the LH Dotty knockout set. This is a hydraulic knockout set, hydraulic, but you can get one that's just about as good as Harbor Freight. We don't need the spacer it's on this one. Cheap. The Harbor Freight knockout set works just great, except the brakes are on the hole. So there goes the cutter. You can use a unibit. Oh yeah, that looks good, boss. That's a good angle there. You good? Oh yeah. She's a slicing. She's a slicing and a dicing. And then be through. There it goes. Ooh. So that's gonna be a sweet little chisel the brick out. And um you know, we're making holes. Here's one thing you can make a hole with. That's a high dollar carbide bit. 
Those are expensive. This is my favorite. These are my Milwaukee thin wall hole cutters. These are by Milwaukee. These are awesome. But they make a little bit of a big hole, so sometimes you might want to use the smaller one first. But in my opinion, this right here, which you can get, I think, three of them for about 30 bucks in different sizes, is cheaper than buying one of those. And then here's what the boss likes. He likes that blunt force, so he goes for the unibit. Just don't look what I did over here. What did you do? It's not centered. Oh no. But Looking good. Just use a grinder. Everything with a grinder. Next stop on our pre panel. What was I calling it? Our pre panel push. Abraham, set up. Set up for stringing. Are you writing in your journal a little bit? I'm, I'll leave you alone. I don't mean to. Oh, oh yeah, I'm just taking, you know. Just journal a little journal. bit. Journal. It's, it's private. It's private. Sorry about Please that. stop. So Abraham's got the wire set up. He's got the Reinsteig tool and he's fixing to map out how our strings are going to go. And Antonio is going the extra mile. <gasps> so, one thing that can happen on a metal roof, on an exposed metal roof, is uh, screws tend to back out. So, what Antonio is doing is uh, Antonio, can I see one of the big screws and one of the little screws? Yeah, I need one of the. Um, little but here's one of the so one of the problems inherent to metal roofs with exposed fasteners is you have this this going on where fasteners are backing out and they just do that over time so what i've got antonio doing is going through and he has taken the old screw out you can see the gasket on the old screw also gets kind of worn out yeah. This gets brittle, but so he's going through with a really bigger screw I'll just run it up. and tightening it down. And that's just gonna, that's just cheap insurance for us knowing that we're not gonna have a $30,000 solar array install and, and start having a leaking roof because a uh, cheap metal roof screw backed out. We got another fairly serious lunch going on here. Boss putting chips in his tacos. Everybody needs a crunch. Never thought we'd be on a boat. We're just chilling next to this boat. <laughs> and it's a big boat. Scott's being extremely judgmental and condescending right now. <laughs> I just want you to tell you the kind of stuff he does to me. All right. There's a trash bag right here. So I have some questions. I have some Ready questions for you, for the whole YouTube world. Do you think you have a more refined palate than I do? Absolutely. Kidding it? me? Forget about it. Are we going to eat next? <laughs> Where are we going to eat next? <laughs> quality, not quantity? Yeah. Right. Do you think Scott has a more refined palate than I do? No comment. No, co no comment. I can say no comment. You are so one dimensional. No, you think I'm one dimensional? Yeah. No, turn it off. Just turn dial it up. Dial it up. I did. I did. I turned it down. Turn it off. Scott and I have been arguing about sausages. There's not just one good sausage. There's, you know, the brats, the Italian, the, um, the summer sausages. Ooh, I love summer sausages. Let's talk about the sausage links we had this morning uh -uh, for breakfast. Those, those are good. awful. The compliment, we're okay. Hungry. I wasn't the only one that thought they were just terrible. <laughs> they, were, they were barely edible. They, they were, said they had pork. This, I think the turkey sausage was better tasting. Oh, we haven't even started talking about fake. Right, five questions. Five questions right now. Five questions for who? What's the What's your favorite sausage? Why do you do that? I have five favorite sausages. <laughs> Who's got the best cuisine? Nobody. <laughs> what's your favorite bird? Me. I love all birds. <laughs> Peregrine falcon. Fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what, how many questions have I asked? You? Three. Horned out. You got two more. Uh, Two more questions. Oh, what do you put in your coffee? Something sweet. <laughs> La guayasca. Um, La guayasca. Do you hear something about that thing? I need one more question. Help me. What's your shoe size? <laughs> What's your shoe you wear? 13. One more question. <laughs> one more question. Hex drive or Torx? Torx. All right, folks, here we are. The pre-panel push has come to an end, and now we are at the 
post lunch panel hawk. Is that my word that I'm going to use there? It's the after lunch panel shuffle with the big boss. All right. So we got all our wires run. And we are just about to start mounting panels. Got a string set. And here we go. Got the Cougs on. Cougar Paws. Again, big shout out to Cougar Paws. There they are. So there it is, folks. Sun up to sun down. Solar Man. We got almost all 42 panels. More than halfway done. And uh, we're just leaving the job site now. Fun times. So tomorrow we'll finish this up and start on the second barn. Which you can't even see right now. Gotta put another 42 panels on that. Sure is nice having the genie lift.